What's up, guys? This is Hatayat7 and RCT uh, bringing you another video. Uh, in this case, uh, no stream for now, but those will be coming down soon uh, pretty quickly uh, on a later date. Now, I wanted to preface this video uh, before going into the SNES Classic Edition by saying that um, I'm sorry that I've been a uh, little. Uh, low on content lately, but you know as um, the whole situation down in Puerto Rico with uh, the passing of Hurricane Maria and stuff I'm still in the kind of stuck in the place where I'm trying at this point to still communicate with most of my family and, and, and loved ones over there I have managed to talk on a regular basis with Afroso Which those who knows me know who she is and also uh, bad luck one of the close friends from the streams and videos and stuff. Um, but aside from that, I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody at all. So, uh, the thing is, I, I kind of felt a little shitty doing videos and, and, and doing streams because, you know, I'm over here having fun and stuff like that. As you guys know, I'm stateside. Um, while over there, they're going through all of this stuff. It really, I don't know, I, I guess I felt self-conscious about it. But, as Afro Soul herself pointed out RCT cannot stop RCT was born out of the love of gaming and being you know together and friends and stuff like that so hopefully they'll uh, be able to reestablish themselves and, and come to some kind of normalcy soon and they'll be able to watch the video and and, and I hope that they that they're that they're okay it's just it's something that's a little touchy for me for now but Anyways, I did not come here to bog this down or make it uh, into a sad uh, thing. As she told me, yeah, I'm going to follow through. I'm going to go forward with RTT. And next up is the SNES Classic Edition. So that's what we're going to get into here. So um, I'm doing this because the SNES, in many ways, is the console that actually made me a long-term gamer, so to speak. It turned me into a hardcore gamer as well. Uh, as much as I love uh, most of the stuff uh, that Nintendo has made during the years. As you know, I'm a Nintendo fan, not a fanboy. Uh, they have made a lot of mistakes during the way, but they have made some really great stuff. And to me, the SNES is probably one of the greatest stuff that they have ever come out with. Now, you can be on the fence, or you can go one way or another. Why the reason is that the Super Nintendo was like the greatest thing ever back in the day. Uh, some people will say it's the power of the system. It was, you know, more powerful than the Genesis and this and that. Uh, some will say it's third-party support. I would say it's a little bit of everything. The SNES, basically, in a personal note, when I had the NES, the NES, basically, I had that console. I had several other consoles before that. You might be asking why do you consider that after the SNES you became a hardcore gamer or a long-term gamer? Well, basically up to that point, the NES was really the first system that I actually uh, pursued buying games for and having as a thing, you know, as something that I would uh, engage on a regular basis. However, it wasn't, it really didn't grab me the way that, that the Super Nintendo did. Uh, the the NES, basically, I would buy maybe one or two games sparsely and, and maybe trade some and maybe grab some from the bargain bin or rent some games. Because, as you know, the library was huge. Trying to buy all of those games at, at the time of the console being, you know, uh, uh, the standard at the time was really, really hard. You need to have a lot of money, which I didn't have much back in the day. So I needed to conserve my... my uh, my money so I had to pick and choose carefully which game I was gonna have now however with the Super Nintendo everything changed with the Super Nintendo was the first console that I actually prepared for launch day that I was I heavily researched even though the internet was not a thing back then I basically collected every single magazine that would come out and I was always on point just waiting for that day and preparing and, and setting aside for the launch and for the games and stuff like that. And I had a blast. I mean, SNES is just amazing. And here we have it, 2017. 
as much as I wish, I, I, I wanted to show you the little console how small it is, but I had some problems with the cabling and OBS recognizing, you know, after I, I would connect it back, it wouldn't work. So basically the only thing I could show you guys, at least physically, is a controller, which was available at launch as well, or Fighting Commander. Now this thing right here, back in the day, Street Fighter days, this was the thing to have, at least a variant of this. The six button layout and that d-pad was amazing however um flash forward to 2017 i'm still i'm having issues with that d-pad for whatever reason i don't know if it's the timing if it's any input lag but the, the diagonal movements are really hard i i really don't know i'm, I'm still i haven't tested it enough to say to come to a conclusion but i gotta say that for regular games it works fine the d-pad works fine the buttons work also fine I, I don't usually use this turbo stuff you know that's a waste of time right now um, basically I got this for the six button layout for fighting games that's what I got this for and right now the d-pad is not it's not there now I tried the regular controller which is this one comes packaged with two of them and this is essentially it feels exactly the same as the Super Nintendo one back in the day. Now, I tried to see if it was, you know, me. And it was to a point because I still struggle a little bit with that D-pad. Maybe it's just me. I got used to arcade sticks and stuff like that. But I still feel that the, the Hori Fighting Commander, the D-pad, is not as responsive as the one that comes packaged, you know, the wired one. So... We'll see. I'll probably test one of these. I'll probably test the Street Fighter again and see if I'm, I get any better at it. But being a fighting aficionado, I, I really shouldn't be struggling so much with a D-pad at this point. So, But let's get into it. Let's go right into the gameplay screen. And we're going to boot it up. Got the sound going. Oh boy. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I wanted to do it without a hitch, but you know, you can't have everything, so. What do we have here? Well, we have, let's go make, do a rundown through the games real quick here. Let's start in alphabetical order. We have Contra 3, Alien Wars. Amazing, amazing Konami, when Konami used to be the thing back in the day, yeah. Donkey Kong Country, I don't need to talk about that one. Earthbound, oh my god. Uh, weird, in a sublime kind of way. F-Zero, one of the launch titles that I got. Got this in uh, Pilot Wings at launch um, with uh, Super Mario World, of course. Um, Final Fantasy 3, one of the best Final Fantasies still to this day. Kirby, we have Kirby Dream Course. Both Kirby games are amazing and a little bit of legacy from the late Iwata, rest in peace. And um, Mega Man X, which is, you know, the 16-bit version where the series took a more modern approach with more graphics and stuff. Uh, Secret of Mana, another great RPG, Star Fox, and of course Star Fox 2, which I unlocked uh, recently testing out the, the system that you need to play the, the first level of Star Fox and, and clear it in order to get Star Fox 2. Now, I haven't tried this one out yet, so that might be the first one I go for right now. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which, again, this sucker right here, hopefully it'll work for me. Beyond the cost of the controller, the Hori controller is $24.99. It's wireless, of course, that implies a little bit of uh, input lag, but so far, in terms of input lag, I don't feel the lag as much. I still have an issues with the D-pad, though. But the controller is really nice, it has a nice little heft to it, and, you know, aside from the U-pad issue, it works right out of the box really nice. Now, 
Castlevania 4. Oh my god, I want to play all of these games now here. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. These are like my favorite titles. Maybe missing Mario Kart, uh, Mario RPG. I'm gonna have a blast with that one again. Super Mario World, of course, you know, a staple. And Super Metroid, my favorite Metroid game like ever. Right up there with Prime. Prime is my favorite for a set of reasons, and this one is basically like my overall favorite SNES game of all times. Uh, Punch Out, very fun game. Legend of Zelda, you cannot miss that. And Yoshi's Island, another one that uses the the, the little chip to make those graphical effects. Very, very underrated. And yeah, and that's basically what we have for now. As you guys know, uh, at least you, uh, those who knows me, who knows who know me from a long time ago, know that I love to mod things and I love to tinker. Am I going to mod the SNES Classic? Hell yeah! I'm gonna mod it. I'm gonna let it play whatever it can play. You know, I I, I put forward the money to get it, and I'm sorry, Nintendo. I, I mean. You might not like it, but I'm gonna turn this into a mini hyperspin if I'm allowed to. So I'll be uh, making uh, later a video where I'll have the completed, you know, modded system so I can tell you how it went. But for now, these are the magnificent games that we have for the system. So which one should we try first? Ah, well. Let's get it out of the way. Let's do the Star Fox. Let's do the Star Fox. Yeah. For the first time completed. Right. Slice bread, baby. Slice bread. I've played the ROM, the unfinished ROM, and it was pretty fun. But my god, if this were to come out back in the day when it was supposed to, this would have been crazy. This probably would have rocketed the, the, the SNS sales like way, way past where they got to. Now, I'm not gonna do much gameplay because I want to keep the video kind of shortish and I want to test some other games as well. Now, also, I wanted to point out that the, I'm using a filter because I tested out on my 4K monitor, I tested out the different. Um, Options that you have uh, the pixel perfect one I'm going to show you in a little bit and the 4.3 version and this is the one that most closely resembles because it has a nice little I don't know it has I'll, I'll show you in a minute let's see How would it? Let's 
use a. Let's use a. And. Oh man, I feel like a little kid. Every time I, I, I boot up to play a uh, SNES game, it, it, it's just crazy because back in the day, there were, like, gamer was, being a gamer was not a thing. Back in the day, this was, this was just something that nerds enjoyed. Something that a grown man like myself, back at, at that time, I was around 21, 22. So yeah, I was a grown man playing games, and yeah, that was basically frowned upon. Uh, it wasn't until it became mainstream that, you know, now you see gamers and you see casual gamers and hardcore gamers and all that bullshit. for Star Fox, because remember, I want to keep the video short, I want to check the other games as well. Now, let's make a quick stop to Street Fighter so I can show you what, what I'm talking about. I'm going to leave everything standard the way it comes. Uh, fortunately enough, the layout is the standard layout, so I don't need to tweak anything in the options. I can just go in and play the game. Now, the issues I have with quarter circle movements Something as simple as a fireball, I'm having issues. To jump forward, I'm having issues. And in a, in a game that you need to have quick movements, it's not good. I'm getting owned by the by the computer because of that. Look at that hurricane kick. I can't even do the hurricane kick. Not good, man. Experiment here. Thousand don't screw with me. Let me connect the controller. Okay. See? I'm using the controller. And even though I'm still not there, but at least I can jump without any problems. Even a dragon punch. You win. And it saddens me because this thing, aside from looking awesome, you know, having all the options and stuff, I can't use it for what I wanted to, which was fighting games. Or this one, because, you know, 
And also the, the thing that it's a wireless control. I don't have to be tethered to uh... So yeah, in part is me getting used to the controller once again. And another part is just that it is not responsive. That D-pad is not working. But it is what it is, guys. No use crying over spilled milk because it's not a complete loss. I'm still gonna be using it as my primary controller because, to be honest, having it be wireless is really, really a great thing. And having the six buttons there, well, you know, you still have the shoulder buttons as well. So I don't know, man. It's just a shame that that D-pad. Oh my God. Maybe I'll, I'll try opening it up later on and, and checking the D-pad to see if something can be done to it. I'll check the forums and stuff like that, and I'll, I'll, I'll do an update video later on. But right now, even for $24.95, which is the, the retail price, if you're specifically getting it for the Street Fighter game and the SNES Mini, don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. I think it would be better served with the regular controller. Super Castlevania. Listen to that music. Oh my god. Yes, my wolves. No, there you go. Let's go in, let's go in. Oh, wait, I didn't show you guys. Let me suspend it. See, that's the cool thing, you can actually suspend the game. But let me show you real quick the display things. Yeah, yeah. See, I have it with CRT filter. Now, if I do it pixel perfect, it's gonna squash the image for some reason. But I'm gonna run this one so you can see it. kind of blocky and pixely. Now the CRT option, however, is the one that I prefer because even though 4.3, 4.3 is basically the same thing as Pistol Perfect, but the only thing is that it allows it to, you know, be unstretched a little bit. But the CRT filter, to me, that's like the best one. So awesome. Ah, Bask in the Glorious Music. Soundtrack of Castlevania. I love this game. Now this unto I, I, I guess a few years back, this was my favorite all-time SNES game. For obvious reasons, the music, the the, the graphics, the mode seven effects that they implemented in the game. The later stages are crazy with mode seven effects. 
or skating effects for those who don't know. Um, and this one is just, I mean, I, I didn't know at the time I, I got the game, I didn't know that this was intended as a remake. Uh, back when remake was not a thing. To me, this was, you know, Castlevania 4. This was a sequel to me. But, whatever it ended up being, this is badass whippery right here. I want to stay, but I can't. The video is going to be extremely long. So, okay, I'm going to do... Let's see. Oh, my God. What can I do here? Final Fantasy takes too long, but it's, all of the games are amazing. All of the games are amazing. Okay. In terms of options, let me show you what... Uh, this is what you get. Running the classic game. Uh, demo. Screen burn reduction. Uh, whatever. Language selection, legal notices, yeah, that's very fun. Manuals, now manuals, you gotta, with your smartphone, you gotta just take a picture and it's gonna take you there. I haven't tried that out yet, so that'll be for another update video. But for now, I'm gonna play one more game. Right now, the, the user interface Everything that's set up, the emulation for this is very, very nice, very, very clean. You have everything that you need here. I'm gonna go with Super Goose and Ghosts just because this game rocks. Back in the day when Capcom was like the hero of the people. You see Capcom, this, this right here. I mean, this right here. You know, you're so so happy of how the, the Street Fighter that you just released for the Switch was so, so good. It did so well. Why don't you take these franchises, you know, these dormant franchises that are not doing anything on your precious Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and do something with it. Make an original one for the Switch. This would be badass. You know, I don't know, I don't know what, what these guys are thinking, to be honest. But I mean they did one for the PSP I think And you wouldn't have to do it necessarily in those blocky freaking 3D graphics you know trying to make uh, pretend that they're 2D when they're not 2D make it a, make a 2D HD version updated with gameplay mechanics and you know, new and scary stages look at what the indies are doing with 2D and you're gonna see this game fly off the shelves you know contrary to whatever uh, people might uh, might tell you most of the Switch owners are hardcore gamers, so they're going to expect some of the most dearest uh, franchises being represented the way that they remember them, and of course being improved upon because you're not gonna be, you can't keep cashing in with nostalgia alone. Oh. So many debates. Which one was better, this one or the Genesis one? I kind of like both. Alright, I, I feel that the Genesis one was a little, a little uh, easier than this one. This one is really uh, <laughs> a nice little challenge, especially after you get to the end of it. You have to go all the way back. But yeah. 
And that, my friend, all of you out there, this is, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, hey, I'm not going to recommend it. You know, is it worth the money? Hell yes, it's worth the money. For tinkerers like me, who love to mess around and knowing that the same mod or the same hack that worked with the NES Mini works with this one, albeit a little bit limited for the time being, but once they get going with this code, uh, I think you're going to be able to play all of the games here and maybe a couple of the other systems. I've seen some videos around talking about that, so even though a lot of people are going to say, hey, but that's what you have Retro Pie for, uh, for, but it's not the same thing to me because with this one, you actually pay Nintendo money for what they offering you. And if you have the technical know-how, you have the means to do so, you can mod it for extra functionality, which is always good. Now, Retro Pie is still a good thing to have, but for my money, for the 79 bucks that this thing costs, it's not only a collector's uh, dream come true when it comes to the Super Nintendo. I might even get later down the line uh, the Super Famicom version, so... Yeah, I want that as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I see you guys soon with uh, an update of this, or maybe some of the other games that are coming up for the Switch really soon. So with that, I bid farewell. Take care, guys. See you soon.